Okay, so we're back. We figured out what the issue was. Basically, uh, for some reason, when we connected the Servo Commander 32, we realized that the drivers weren't installed properly. Uh, we simply went to the Device Manager of XP, and we right-clicked on it, and basically said Update Driver, and it found the correct driver for the uh, Servo Commando, and we're back in action. So here we are. Just to recap, we plugged it in. Um, we're turning on. Let's see here. Let me just do a couple checks. Okay, we've unplugged it, the power is on, we're plugging it back in. Okay, so the servo commander is on, power switch is on, servos are connected. We've opened up the InnoBasic workshop, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and go to Tools and go to the Motion Editor. When you go to the motion editor, you'll see when it works properly, it'll say download server manager. It's a little dialog box that you can't do anything with, and it's actually downloading. I'm not sure if you can see the blinking lights or not, but here the blinking lights are going off, or the lights are going off there. And basically what it's doing is downloading from the commander into the uh, InnoBasic workshop. Now we get a dialog box that says, please make sure that all servos are proper position, blah, blah, blah. Hit OK. Now it asks us, what are we going to do? So please select your kit. We're going to choose the mini, mini hexapodino, which is the last option in this version, and clicking OK. Right now it's setting all the servos. Now if we go back to the documentation, and let's see what it says here. We've done that. Now basically what it says here in step 8 says please check the checkbox for activating the servos on the left side to move all the servos to their central position. So let's see what we've got here. Doesn't look like these are working right. So I'm just kind of, what, basically what I'm doing now is I'm sliding around the sliders. I'm not seeing anything configured right here. But these are basically the presets. Hmm. So looking at the Innovati Motion Editor, it says channel 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Now, those are the ones that are checked automatically. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at this to see where these are connected. Let's see 12 through 15 here. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's see. It's a little confusing in how these are set up. Tell you the truth. Excuse me. 